Hello everyone, I am your host Warrior Angel and welcome to this installation guide on how to install the submod Casabelli 2.2 onto your computer for your own Darth Mod campaigns. Now for anyone unfamiliar with this mod, this is a unit pack mod. Basically you use it with your Darth Mod custom campaign and it adds a whole variety of different units to different minor factions. So that if you're playing as them you've got a bit more variety rather than what the vanilla version of the faction might have. And if you're fighting against them it means the AI is going to use them and maybe you encounter a bit more difficulty, who knows. The reason why I decided to make this video is one, because if while there is instructions for the mod, it can be a little bit difficult at times to understand and I'd rather just watch a video than try and read it for myself. That's just the way I would prefer to do it. It's how I installed Darth Mod in the first place. And secondly, it's because it was requested or suggested, I should say, by, I think he was uh, further down, one of my commenters, here we are, Spirit of 76 er who suggested it. And I don't blame him. I had a look on YouTube and unless it's in another language there is no guide as far as I can tell on installing the mod so I decided to make this quick video on well I try and be quick anyway on how to install it now before you install it you need to have Darth Mod installed so what should be appearing on somewhere on the screen about now is a link to Lionheart's how to install Darth Mod for Empire Total War video. It's very good. It tells you all about how to install it, where to find it, as well as all the different stuff you can do with Darth Mod. So I'd suggest checking that out if you haven't got Darth Mod stored and ready. If you have, we'll get started. The first thing you need to do is go down to the video description of this video. And not the one that's on the screen, this video, and you'll see a link to the Castus Belly page. So I have this on all my Knights of St. John Let's Plays as well. So if you just pop on here, you can click on Castus Belly and it will take you then to the site. This is on the Total War Center forum, so it's easy enough to find if you happen to be a member. And you also can check out other sub mods and that. I think there's one by Bran MacBrea or something like that, that does a few things with morale. I think Lionheart uses it himself on his Morafa Confederacy Let's Play, but I've never used it. But anyway, this is what it is. The goal of Castebelli is to make minor nations more fun to play. Merge as many unit packs together in order to give them better unit rosters. So, if you're interested to know what factions actually are added, if you pop down here and it says, please rep the creators of the mod packs, you'll find them here. So you've got Denmark, Gen Genoa, the Italian States bit, which does Malta, Macau, you've got Persia, Portugal, uh, Savoy, Venice, Morocco, Missouri, the P Punjab, apparently. The, the Ottomans have been adapted a little bit, and I believe Durkenstein is supposed to be completed. I don't, I don't know if it has or not, but it's supposed to be. So, yeah, a nice little variety. It gives you something to look forward to if you happen to play these minor factions. And it is pretty handy playing you know, them. I mean... Having them in Darth Mod's custom campaign, you means you can play as pretty much any faction. And it really gives you some variety, especially if you're like me. I like to start off as small factions and grow. So when you're really the only province that can do faction, I can do that in the vanilla Empire Total War is the United Provinces. I like the fact that it gives me some variety. So anyway, we're going to install this. So first of all, you need to download it. So just above this bit, you've got download links. You click show and you can got a variety of areas you can choose it from. As it says, file factory and game front are free sites. So if you go for four shared or mod DB, no mod DB should be fine as far as I know. But I know four shared, you need to become a member or sign up to it before you can actually download anything. Me personally, I use this one, uh, Mega NZ. Thing. If you open it up, it comes up with this. And all you need to do is click download for your browser. And I'm not going to do it because I've already got it installed. But what it would do is this will start, it will start up and it will start counting up to 100%. It will ask you then where do you want to install it. And uh, you just tell it where. I put it on the desktop for the moment. And then what will happen is it will just appear on there within a couple of seconds. So quite a nice one. So once that's done, uh, what we'll do. We have to keep this up for the moment. Actually, we can close that now. Uh, yeah, keep it open until it's got to 100%. But these are the instructions here. But I'm going to use some other stuff as well. I'm going to try and show you as well. 
So what you need, you need a window up with Empire Total Wars Darth Mo the Empire Total War folder in. And on the other side, this is the folder that should be downloaded. You need to extract it using either WinRAR or what's the other one, 7-Zip, in order to extract it onto your desktop. Keep it in the folder of its own. Don't extract it straight onto the desktop, okay? Because so, otherwise you're going to have bits and pieces everywhere. So what you need to do, first of all, is once that's done, is open up your folder. We'll stick that over here for the moment. And the first thing you got is this. You'll see CB 2.2 release pack and you'll have these four things underneath. Okay. So what you need to do is on your Empire Total War folder, you want to go into data, come back to this, and you want to copy these four packs. So these four, not the folder, files. And copy them straight into the data pack. As you can see, I've already done them here. So I'm not going to do them again. But yeah, it's just simple click and copy, okay? The next bit you want to do then is you want to open up the CB 2.2 release pack and see this bit. It says scripting.lua. You want to copy that. Then back on the Empire Total War dot thing, still in the data folder, you want to go into the DME campaigns custom and you should have this here if this isn't there then I suggest starting up Darth mod in a custom campaign and then exit it because then it would appear then so we, but it should be there anyway but what you want to do then is just copy this straight over and p replace it okay you could keep it the original copy if you want to replace it and get rid of the Cassio belly mod but you can do other things instead if you prefer to do that so yeah copy and just move the, paste it over there okay the next bit you want to do is in fact we're going to bring go back to desktop I hope you like the picture <laughs> this is one of my own ones um what do we need a uh, blonde moment that's it I need the Darth mod open so you open up your shortcut so you bring up the launcher and we'll bring it up this as well because this is what you need to do you need to we're here now, just for anyone who's interested. You need to open up, e click Edit, and choose Use the Script. And you'll, this will be empty, okay? This block box won't have any of this writer in it. But what you want to do is you want to create the right, what's in here. So what you need to do is come back onto this, and you got these four ones here, okay? What you need to do for each one of them, you need to copy them separately. So you highlight one, copy, paste it where it says Mod here, and choose add. This will add in then to the user script contents. You keep doing that, I'm going to remove this one, but you keep doing that to CB localization, CB models, and 2.2 models until they're all here, okay? You then want to click update user script and it will tell you then when it's updated. You can choose that, close, and then you can close this down. And then the final thing you need to do is we will open up our windows again Right is if you're assuming you left it like this, it should be pretty straightforward. You want to go to standard CB custom start pass, open these up, and you have these here. What you want to do again is just copy these and replace them the ones that are already here. Okay. Now, as you can see, I've already done them, as you can see from the date modified. So I'm not going to do it, but you just need to copy them straight in, and then that's your custom, you know, that's your Casabelli sub mod introduced. Now, there is, if you checked out the instructions, you will notice some stuff that have come up. Like you see, for example, it says here, change the localization file with this. You could you could do it. I, I haven't. I mean, I haven't done it, but and it works fine for me. But you might find it, uh, you might need to. And there's also says here about getting the revised CB pack. I haven't done that either, and it's worked fine for me. So... If it doesn't work, then maybe try and download them. Thing, but the thing is, if you want to download the CB Core one, you need to make sure you have um, oh, what's the word? Thing, you need to be a member of the Total War Center forum before you can access that. This one you can actually download, but then when I did it, it actually came up with a virus web filled website, so I didn't bother. But yeah, it should be fine, and. Yeah, hope you guys have fun with the Casabelli submod then. 
The one thing I do ask is if you do encounter any problems and you haven't followed my, if you followed my video and you still have problems, don't, please don't write in the comments asking me how to solve it because I, I won't know, to be honest with you, okay? What you could try and do if there is any problem is, is try and do these because you got the access ones here thing. Um, I don't know what that is. I've never had to do that. And that's the thing. But there is over 46 pages. 46 pages. Have a quick look see or search. See if you can find what you're looking for. Uh, if not, if you go on to the submods bit up here. And it actually loads up. You have 18 pages of people who would be willing to ask questions, tell you a bit more about bits and pieces. So feel free to check that out as well. And you'll probably find a few more mods. Here we are, Brand Macborn. That's the one I meant. So yeah, have a look through. Have a see what you can find. Otherwise, hope you guys find the video useful. Enjoy your future games of Empire Total War Darth Mod with the new units. And I shall see you next time. Bye for now.